Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Ronnie Barnes, and uh, I grew up with Norris. We, we went through everything together. We were in first grade together. I remember when he bought his dad's trophies up to first grade. We were all marveled at him. Uh, I remember us having the wrestling matches up uh, next to uh, his uh, granddaddy, who was uh, my mother's cousin, uh, in the sand and dirt and, and all those things. And uh, I remember us all going buying some things at the at the store together, but what I remember mostly about it is that we were, seemed like we were always side by side no matter what we went through, like uh, from from our weddings, we were at, we were at each other's wedding, <laughs> you know, it just, everywhere we, we started our jobs off at Freeport Intermediate together, we just, everything we did was together, you know, just like a, uh, I used to regret when Norris left because we had coached together so long, but when I see what grew out of it, I, it's, I, it reminds me how difficult it is to tell the difference between a blessing and a curse. Okay, so while I'm sitting here today to say this, this really, really looks like a curse, but with our, with our, you know, our finite understanding and you know God's understanding is infinite, we this can be a blessing also. So. Yes, my heart is aching because I, I don't see Norris as a cousin. I see him more as a brother because we did so many things together. But I, I humble myself to know that I don't have the ability to tell the difference between a blessing and a curse. And did he, did he really die if it's a part of him and it's all these people that, that expressed it here? And uh, this is the first time I've ever been this close to Norris and we weren't both laughing. Okay, because we would see each other, we start laughing, we didn't know we were laughing about, but we remember so much stuff we went through together, we just started laughing. We didn't, we didn't have any particular reason because we know all the stuff we do. We had Stevie and April, them running up down the road in the fall, we couldn't even see inside the car and stuff like that. <laughs> and the way we would have we'd all been dead anyway, so. <laughs> and I don't think we were going to speed with it either, so. You know, but I, I just love him, and I know everyone here love him, and I have to say that, uh, you know, on behalf of the, the class of 1975, that it's going we have our reunion this year, and it's going to be a painful reunion without uh, even the possibility of him being there. I know he wasn't able to make all the reunions, but it was always that hope that he would show up. Uh, thank you, and I, you know, I'm just glad to have known him as a friend and as a cousin, and uh, and, uh, and as a co-worker and all that it, it entails. Thank you.